And in fact, I think anyone on this show getting emotional should get the chestnut treatment. Maybe we all sign consent forms to the chestnut like treatment. In- yeah, I want to say, uh, moving on a little bit, that Z- uh, Zach, I want to uh-huh. say, because he's getting some re- residual hate for my, is? my mistakes. Uh, not wanting to dwell on that, but I do want to say... Zach is innocent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Clearly. I mean, I think I said that I in think the... it was obvious. I said that in the episode, but, like, there's some dumb fucking articles that I guess they just rush to get it out. Right, and also uh, some of this hate is... It, it's, like, by association, so... There's a lot of people that are still pulling me down with it. Look, I, I press the button... I'm just doing my job here. You're yeah. just following orders. I'm just doing my job here. You're just following orders, right? Exactly. Yeah. You know. That is a f- that that defense has famously worked well uh, historically. Exactly. Some Manson shit. Um so look, I'm just doing my job here. I don't I'm not a misogynist. I'm not I'm not a, a I'm just getting called horrible shit. Well, really? Yeah. And I'm being called a Nazi like what? Well, who I, called you a Nazi? What context does that even make sense? I don't know. But, you know, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a Nazi. Um, I wear Star David around my neck. Thank you. You're not a Nazi, but I've you, been do, staying you were off, just following orders. I've been sta- staying off the internet pretty much because I knew I was going to get yeah. dirty yeah, out there. I need to start doing that a little bit. Yeah, you should do that. Um, I was like, I know this episode was messy. I'm just not even going to go anywhere on there. Like, Reddits. Yeah, I, I tend Twitters. to bury my head a little bit when that happens. Yeah. But you know, people do take it too far, like on the internet when you f- fuck up in some way. Yeah. The reaction people have is like, um, he is a disgusting human being. He's vile. He, he uh, I, I, I've watched for 12 years and now I'm fucking unsubbing and I, I don't know, it's just like, uh, there, there's just a lot of, you know, unwarranted shit that I, it's hard reading about yourself, you know? So, um, yeah. Well, Dextero, this is a demand for, uh, for, uh, what do you call it? Correction. Mm. Yeah. They even spelled right. my name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, then that's good. Cause it wasn't you. Right. It was my <laughs> mother's act. It was Lou. Yeah. Was who's, that, <laughs> who's that? It was Lou. Lou. <laughs> oh, it's Lou, the good guy. Yeah. We're gonna have to end that character. <laughs> yeah. Lou's gone. But, uh, Tommy said, uh, "This talk is exactly why I never tell anyone. It's the constant. Let me help you." Okay. Wait, what? I guess he's saying he's also a, an oh. older, up in the years virgin. I see. Okay, <clears throat> that's a good point. Okay. Lindsay says, "Ela, your makeup looks great. Your confidence makes all your looks elevated, Queen. <gasps> also, don't beat yourself up over it." <laughs> there isn't anything you can do now, and we still love you. I laughed. Oh, don't admit that. Thank, Thank you. you by the Bradley way. Martin? That can't be really him, can it? No. Why are people talking about Ethan and Cutie Cinderella, but not talking about Jeffrey Epstein stuff? I get it. <laughs> Somebody's impersonating Bradley Martin. And that's, a re- that's what I've been saying. I mean, how is anyone going to be mad at me when those names are still being held secret? <clears throat> yeah, we love you, Zach. Thank you. I don't. I, I love you guys too. And again, I was just following orders, doing my job. And let uh, me look a history of. I was just following orders. I mean, mm. I'm sure the whole Nazi party. What was that? What was that trial? The Nazis on the Nuremberg. Nur, Nuremberg. Let's see if that worked for them. What? <laughs> Let's see how the Nazi defense of just following orders plays out. But that's 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 not even a good comparison, right, Zach? No, no, I, I don't think you can. Well, did you guys this. gas anyone? <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I was ga- He was gassing me up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but no, not a Nazi, not a misogynist. Not, <sighs> not a Nazi, saying, folks. Not a piece. You heard it here first. I can say I can vouch for Zach. He is not a Nazi. Yep. <laughs> As far as I can tell, anyway. I don't know what you do at home. Right. Yeah. All right. What does he do in the dark? Oh, yeah. This I was a know. meme on the subreddit. I was just following orders. <laughs> and with that, this is true. <laughs> it's not his fault. That's, that's not even me. That, that's Zilly Zonka. I don't know how that, this is the, that guy got in there. Yeah. 
Oh my god. I love that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he did nothing wrong. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we love you, Zach. Really. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll even I'll even be I'll even go a step further in absolving Zach. Yeah. I told Zach play the chestnut song. And he said, really? Question mark, question mark, question Yeah, with mark. like a bunch of question marks. <laughs> and I said, yes. So, like, it's uh -huh. so on me and not Zach. He even said, sir. And I said, follow orders. <laughs> yeah, but um, I think it'd be great if Dexterto can, you know, revise that shit. And maybe yep. spell my yep. name right, you know? Let's get that blue well, Do you want the cloud or not? Why do you want that cloud? He, that's what he's upset about. He can't get the cloud because they spelled the name wrong. Right. He but you want that kind of cloud? Use it for his no, I'm exactly. falling on the grenade either. So what you can yeah. Might as well get something out of yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, right. I, need, I need just my name in, in print. So you're but, okay but with them blaming you? As long as no, saying, no, 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 no. Ethan's saying maybe it's okay that the name is wrong mm -hmm. in this context. Yeah. Maybe it's good for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> your your the logic is not making sense. It, it's a uh, if somebody brings it up, you can say that's not me. It's kind of a Sophie's Choice situation here. So it's uh, that difficult, I guess. But no, I don't. I don't necessarily want it. All jokes aside, I don't. I don't want it. I just want my sins to be. Uh, doesn't want it. Yeah, it's my fault. I was in goblin mode that whole day, and it was just mm -hmm. it was your turn. I had no fucking. I had that whole day. I just felt like. Not the whole day. No, after after the Rebecca Black. Yeah. Part, for some reason, I was in full goblin mode, and like sometimes I get like that. I don't I know just... that you should go past three hours, because that was the fourth hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. It does. There's there's something to that. There's some Actually, science there, right? Tell me if you think I I saw what I thought was a fairly insightful comment on Reddit about it, which is that with the conversation with Rebecca Black, because. Um, you know, her story is kind of messed up. Everything that happened to her and traumatic and everything, mm -hmm. you were being very careful in that conversation. Mm -hmm. And that there was like a rubber band effect. Like once she <laughs> left, you were like freed and you went 180 I, in the other direction of just full goblin mode. To be honest with you, I do think that has something to do with it. I also think that I have an impulsivity problem with mm -hmm. that's related to my Tourette's, which I am now discovering. I can actually use that as an excuse. <laughs> Look at this comment. Dan, this. why didn't we wrap up after the interview? We still have to get canceled. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I do genuinely think there <clears throat> that I'm not normal, right? You are normal. Come on. Um, but why is it though? By the what? way, and I don't like I'm I'm not trying to uh I'm not trying to cop out and not accept responsibility. Of mm -hmm. course I do. But I'm trying to understand, maybe there's something in me that is No, not... I, I agree because Retire. I know you in real life, not on camera. And I know your views on things. And I know that you would have never laughed at her crying. Uh, of course. Of course. Obviously. E to be honest That's why you. it's like, it's upsetting for me to watch you do that to yourself. Because but, I know you. And I know that that's not you, but I know for somebody else opening the show and Who's seeing that, it? what that's going to look like, it's going to look awful. And I think that, yes, there's some kind of an impulsive thing that you... <laughs> Sometimes, listen, I'm a, I'm a You got to play with fire. It's like, you just have to... I do. And I'll <laughs> tell you, look, look, I love my job. I love to make you guys laugh and explore the medium of doing mm. comedy in this kind of open impromptu setting and like it's funny i did it so fast i almost did it on purpose so fast that i didn't give myself a chance to even think about it because i was like you i was like think i, I it, feel dude. like this would be funny i was like i feel like this would be funny because it's so fucked up and you only like you only let that thought go through before the second thought is like maybe it's not a good idea though. <laughs> that that did not approach my brain. There was no, there, that wasn't an option, you know. And the chestnut song was just the moment. It really was the moment. Well, it, I feel like it was, it was, in my opinion, it was funny during the first half of the story when we were talking about the um, what was the dude's name. Yeah. We were, yeah, when we were that talking was, on that, that was he's the butt. Yeah, but that the, the thing is, like, that guy is obviously a douche, and it's right. okay to satirize him. But she, someone that I'm actually like friendly with, and 
who is expressing herself vulnerably, vulnerab vulnerability <laughs> and uh, is the victim, yeah. then obviously that is not the vibe that I want. It's to make her feel bad. And actually, you know what really made me feel bad is afterwards I talked with her and she told me that essentially it made her feel bad. Mm -hmm. And so that I felt gutted by. Mm -hmm. And also her boyfriend reached out and was like, why, and said something like, to the effect of like, why are you so mean? Mm -hmm. And that made me feel horrible. Yeah. Because obviously that's never the intention. And, and, um, yeah. And, um, cause, cause really at the end of the day, all that matters is how she perceived it. And she didn't like it and right. he didn't like it. And then, then I felt really, really bad. You know what I mean? There is a touch of ableism, though, when people blame me. I'm just saying. I have my. I already got my handicap placard. <laughs> There's some old dude trying to get in front of the like big ass parking lot at the movie theater. I'm like, step off, Grandpa. <laughs> there's a there's a curb episode uh, about that where the guy has a stutter and he's got a handicap placard. <clears throat> And Larry calls him out because he, he's not like he doesn't have any physical uh, disabilities, but he, he has a stutter and he's like a handicap. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's what I need. I bet I could get one if I really lied my way or just exaggerated. Like I have Tourette's and I am doing all this all the time and I'm impulsive. And they'd be like, all right, take the fucking placard. But you know what? It's like. It's hard. It's hard to completely. I have done, I'm doing a lot better than I used to, in general. I think um, there's a maturity that I've, uh, I think I've achieved a certain maturity in terms of like when I fuck up, I don't, I'm not getting defensive and I'm like mm -hmm. understanding and, you know, confronting what I've done, okay? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, so in that part, I think I've, I've, I've matured. And you remember, Dan, there was times when, because uh, you've been with us so long, where I would get into shit and I usually got defensive and then it would make everything worse. I don't know if you remember that stuff like that. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I definitely agree with you. Uh, as you were saying that, I was raising my eyebrow a little bit about the, because just the, on, the, on the front end of getting into the shit in the first That's place. That's the problem. Right. So I've but I agree that <laughs> the aftermath and the acceptance of faults and sort of the reflection part has massively improved over the years. Yeah. You've so, definitely grown up on Okay, that. good. Thank you for co-signing that. So yeah, in one, term, in one way I have matured, but on the other time, it's like I don't want to compromise what makes this show special to me. I know what you mean. I don't want to second guess myself all the time. And I because, you know what I mean? And, and 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 as bad as that may sound, to me, the minute that I start second guessing mm -hmm. myself, then then the show is not going to be as good or special. And if I fuck up, I apologize to her. I says, "I'm right. so sorry." You know what I mean? I'm so sorry. But at the same time, I can't fucking hamstring myself. Yeah, we need the kill switch. I know exactly what you mean. Thank you. It's coming. Fact, it's coming. I go to that other side of oh, becoming yeah. so self-aware yeah. of what everybody's going to say, going to think, how they're going to perceive it, that I almost like become just not even myself or I just don't right. talk or I just don't say anything mm -hmm. because all I hear in my head is just the thoughts of what I'm going to see people saying, what they're going to think. With the saying in the chat, with all this stuff, it's like it, it kind of takes over your, your own thought and you're just stuck in that mode. Totally. And you can't, you can't do a show like that. No. And I've been in, I've been in that place before and it's just, it's not, it's not a good place to be. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I think the important part is when you fuck up to acknowledge it and apologize, right? And, but the thing, but at the same time, I got kind of be, I got to go goblin mode sometimes. I got to go fun. goblin mode. I mean, a lot of the goblin mode moments are the funniest moments on the show. Exactly. So I can't, you know what I mean? You can't yeah. pick and choose because yeah. the fan, there's a lot of fans who are like, 
you know, on one hand, oh, it's so funny. Eat, sometimes, oh, he's so out of pocket. It's so funny. Ethan's in goblin mode, and they love yeah. it. Yeah. But then when it goes too far, and by the way, my, my ratio is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm looking at, like, 20 goblin modes to one too far. Demon mode, let's call it. <laughs> well, demon, mm -hmm. demon mode maybe is different. <laughs> Watch that demon die. Well, what do you call, what? Demon mode is, like, the and two right. strike incidents the uh, word. last year. That's demon mode. So wait, what's a step beyond <laughs> golf? <laughs> okay, all right. So what mode am I in then when I, for example, did that to Cutie Cinderella? Yeah, goblin, goblin gone wrong. That's goblin. Yeah, that's goblin mode. Goblin's gone wrong. <laughs> goblin gone wrong for sure. So I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, so like my ratio is pretty good so far. You know, I got a call from my you my YouTube. Uh, Rep the day after that happened, you know, and I was like, "There's no fucking way, bro." He like, thought it was a strike incoming. He says, "Call me back." Oh shit! And I, uh, I text and I was like, "Run cold." Bad news, and he's like, "No, I just need you to sign the new uh. YouTube partner thing." I was like, "Thank <laughs> God, <laughs> thank oh fucking God. God, bro." Yeah, <sighs> that scared the shit out of me. We just got back. <laughs> Can you imagine? We just got back and we already getting fucking, yeah. Shit's coming out of my, down my leg. Oh. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? And there, there's people so wild, like in Hassan's chat, they're going like, oh, and you still associate with him. People were oh like demanding God. he ends our podcast. And it's like, seriously, you know, like I get that it was a super insensitive, totally wrong time and place joke. Like everything was super inappropriate about it. Yeah. But y'all really want to fucking... Just, it's like, dude, I don't know, man. People just, people on the internet, that's not how you live your life, the people saying that. Like, if you have a friend that fucks up, you're not like, I never want to see you again. Right. That's not how real life works. I'm not a sex criminal. I didn't kill anybody. You know what I mean? I just made a bad joke, and I get that. So, I don't know. Sometimes I question if some of these people are even real or they even have like a real life. How can you actually think that's how life works? You know what I mean? But that's what it is. And uh, it's going to happen again. And if I go too far, I'm going to apologize. And I'm going to reflect on it. And I'm going to try, you know, to uh, work it out. But yeah. there it is. Today I feel disabled. <laughs> Right on, brother. <laughs> Me too, man. So there it is. I don't know. But I love y'all, and I feel so bad, and I apologize to Cutie Cinderella, who I respect, and uh, I wish her all the best. Thank you. Peace and love. This is a serious message to all victims of goblin mode. I would like to mm -hmm. issue an apology. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> there was one actually pretty insightful post, I thought, or maybe it's not a perfect comparison, but there was like a post of us laughing at Jay Leno in his hyperbaric chamber. His body like burned. And they're like, we love this. And then it was Cutie Cinderella crying. And they're like, we hate this. But honestly, it's not that great of a comparison because one, I know Cutie Cinderella. And two, Jay Leno was literally, he wasn't saying anything. He was just there like a cadaver. He wasn't there crying. No, yeah. he was Yeah, it's not a great comparison. If he was, I'd probably laugh about it though. Hey, Leno. Look, you're not arguing that the joke was not right. No. So we all agree. Good. Thank you. Peace and love. Peace and love. Actually, speaking of Shredder, people wanted to stick it to me over the cutie Cinderella thing. And here's the... Yeah. He a small dog. I thought he was going to live forever. Like they say small dogs live forever. I he's, he's like, I was like 15 years. And then I was like... The shit that was really fucking me up, it was like, I, I don't even know if Theodore is going to remember it now when he gets older. <laughs> yeah. You know, and in the comments, people are like, oh, yeah, he's not going to find that funny. And it's like, shut up, idiot. It's fun. It is definitely funny. <laughs> and I hope now, Zach. Okay, but, but I feel like in that <laughs> moment, from if I played that... Dude, that would have been so funny. <laughs> Dude, you would have been so... Like, that is so... Oh, like, my God. I, you think I would have been angry at you for yeah. real? Yes, you would. And I would never. Like, you're having this emotional... I, I, I you would be like, Zach, you're sick in the head. I, I personally disagree that I would be angry. 
you would just go from crying to laughing in that moment? Like, how yeah. would you react? You would. Yeah. Well, it's sh it'd go from probably shock to laughter. But the truth is, Zach, I would be proud of you for taking that initiative. Too. You would be? Yes. Okay, maybe. Okay. Okay. I'm always encouraging you. Okay. That, oh, I, personally, I think that that's ex in that moment. And I hope that now, after we've had this conversation, as a gesture of good faith, that next time I'm crying or super emotional, you'll hit me with that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. And, and in fact, I think anyone on this show getting emotional should get the chestnut treatment. Okay. Maybe depending on the context. But Maybe okay. we all sign consent forms to the chestnut <clears throat> like treatment. And, and guess. I like that idea. I would sign it. It's not even necessarily, the song's not even making fun of you. It's kind of like, oh, setting the mood. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the most joyful <laughs> time of year. <laughs> the happiest time of the year. Let's see where this was cross-posted. Oh, all here. Why'd you post it so many times? <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Actually, we've probably been going for a while, but there's a few things I want to hit. Yeah, we Haven't talked about Keemstar in a while. Just remember the fourth hour curse. Fourth hour curse? Well, how far have we been going? Yeah, we started uh, late today. We've been going about uh, 2.40. I'm not We're even coming up on three to hours. Mode. Well, you are, because 2.40, that's like 20 minutes away. <laughs> the analogy is this. I'm, I'm the airplane that just got hijacked and is flying towards the World Trade Center. I'm about like three-fourths the way there. Goblin mode is when the plane hits the building. Uh-huh. There's still time. If only, if only they knew. Um, yeah, we got 20 minutes, everybody. 20 minutes. <laughs> this is uh, some crazy Acoustic shit. Or... Some crazy now, I think what came to bottom content. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty wild. Uh, can you, can we pull out chestnuts for this, please? Mm-hmm. <laughs> When you go below 16, like 15 and stuff like that, 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 is, you know, by all means, Slipping right? But 16 is the age of consent. And a lot of states in America, in, in <laughs> Australia, in, in fucking the, the United Kingdom, gladly play throughout Europe, Europe, you know what I mean? It's like, it's Building, not that bad. One has been hit. When you go below 16 like 15 oh and stuff like that, that, <laughs> that, you know, by all means, Just right? But 16 is the, is the age of consent. consent. And a lot of states in America, states. in, in Australia, it's not that bad in fucking the U United Kingdom, throughout Europe, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm it's stable. not that bad. <laughs> like when you go below 16 fever. like 15 and stuff like that. Alright, stop. Thank oh you. Oh my god. Pretty wild, eh? Groom star. Thank you, baby, I love you. His chat started turning on him. Check this out. Yeah, I wonder why. I'm a head out. Unsub, <laughs> unsub, unsub. <laughs> Oops. The fuck is this? See, even Dad's singing now. Here it goes. Uh, no, he's done. What the question mark? Question mark? Oh hell nah, dog. Jack Frost nipping at your 